against me shall prosper. I want you to know, first of all, that uh, this same text, the devil uses to confuse God's people. Mm -hmm. Because if we look at this world, and we look at the way things are in this world today, undoubtedly we would say that it seems like weapons are prospering against us all the time. It seems like every time you turn around that there's something going on. And you think that, that it would be that we go back to this text and we say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You need to go back a little bit further. Because the devil wants to take part of the word of God and twist it around to make you believe a lie. Mm -hmm. And remember what we talked about, Minister T mentioned this, and we talked about it in our, in our Bible study a few weeks back. If you take the truth mm -hmm. and you add any part of a lie to it, mm -hmm. it's no longer the truth. Mm -hmm. It's now a lie. We go back and look at the temptation of, of Christ by Satan. Satan said to him, you know, the three, but I'm just going to mention one. He said, if you be the Son of God. Since you've been on 40 days fasting, I know you're starving. If you be the Son of God, why don't you take these stones and have them to turn into brick? The same thing happens today with us. Satan will say, if you are a real Christian, mm -hmm. and the Word of God says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, mm -hmm. why are you suffering so much? Why is it that this God who says that he will take care of you is allowing all these things to happen to you? It's because of the fact that most of the time what we do is we just read the first phrase of that verse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just stop right there. We just stop at no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. That means, you know, and I looked up in the dictionary the definition of the word prosper. The regular dictionary only has one definition for prosper. Mm -hmm. And it's economic. Mm -hmm. I want you to know God wants us to go beyond economic prosperity. Right. He wants us to have spiritual prosperity. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes the difference. No, no weapon formed against you shall prosper spiritually. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you're not going to have to deal with things in this life. Mm -hmm. If somebody were to that's say, right. if, if somebody approaches you with a, 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 a gun, and you start saying, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And he fires that bullet at you. Mm -hmm. What's your faith going to be then? <laughs> you're going to either be on the side of the Lord and have a better understanding of what that means. Or you're going to say, the devil was right. Mm -hmm. The devil is never right. That's right. <clears throat> what this means is simply this. You need to know that when bad things happen to you, and they will. Because rain falls on the just yes. as well as the unjust. That's right. But you have an advantage over the unjust. Yes. It's because yes. of the fact yes. that if you read a little bit further, it talks about righteousness. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. And I just want to talk to you just a few moments of today about how you need to approach things. This means it's all about your attitude when you deal with situations. Mm -hmm. There are weapons that are forming against us all the time right in this room right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of us have weapons of, of disease mm -hmm. and illness that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. That's a weapon that Satan is using. Mm -hmm. Some of us have financial hardships that we're Speak dealing it, with Pastor. right now. That is, again, a weapon from Satan. Some of us are dealing with some relationship issues. Mm -hmm. Again, that is a weapon that's being used by Satan. Yes. But I want you to know that Satan will not succeed. He will not have the upper hand because evil yes. does not yes. come from God. Yes. I remember of a story that was told some years back. And there was a man by the name of Job. Mm -hmm. and, and, and God bragged on, on Job to yes. Satan. Yes. And God talked about, look at him. He's righteous and upright. He's uh -huh. one of the most outstanding men in the East. Yes. And, and Satan said, well, just let me get at it. Do you not know Satan's always getting after you? Yeah. And God said, okay, give him because I, you can do all whatever you want to, but you cannot touch the soul. Mm -hmm. Amen. You cannot touch the spirit because that belongs to God. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you know, God allowed all kinds of hardships to, to come to, to, to Job. And in fact, the lesson for this morning in Sunday school, amen, was talking about how, in spite of all, Job said, I know that my Redeemer lives. Amen. 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 And you need amen. to know that no matter what you are going through, that, that God is going to heaven. Let's take another example. We could go to, to where uh, Stephen is, is, is proclaiming the word of God and how he's one of those people who firmly believes that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. But in the midst of all of this, he continues to just pray, Father, forgive them, basically saying the same thing that Jesus said on the cross. Amen, amen. 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 And so just think in terms of how God keeps on keeping us in spite amen. of all the darks that Satan throws against us. Yeah. No weapon formed against you doesn't mean that you're not going to have hardships. Yeah. It means that when you have the hardship, that there's a certain peace on the inside All that right. you can endure, right. that no matter what the enemy throws against you, if you have the peace of God on the inside, that you're going to be able to be alright. Yeah. 